All right, welcome to another Space Luchador podcast. I am your host, the Space Luchador, and I'm back. So let's go ahead and jump in, right? Quick quote of the day, breakdown, and then I got a video, which I'm also going to break down, obviously. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Every man is a creature of the age in which he lives, and few are able to rise themselves above the ideas of the time now what does this mean well pretty simple we are riding the wave of shitty dumb effery ideas of today 2024 now this video cannot be any better proof of what i'm talking about right because here we have a classic circle jerk right of women in the middle of it we got a dude that is basically asking them questions only their trick questions and within the question you got a complaint right and you're projecting now let me read it again real quick and we'll jump into the video every man is a creature of the age in which he lives few are able to rise themselves above the ideas of the time now this is beautiful and at the same time sad right but there is a point this is exactly what makes you the man that you are able to rise above the dumbass pack that is everybody else that's the point right so like when i say it's simple it is simple it's hard because Not many, well, most actually do not know the pathway. The pathway is simple. I always said it. Rule, right? One of the rules. If everybody's going that way, you go the other way. Why? Because that's the mechanics of being a man. Understand, you cannot be a man running around with the pack like a dumbass. You understand? Anyways jump into the clip now this is um andrew wilson shocks the girls with what women bring to the table first of all son you ain't shocking a damn thing but your viewers right (laughs) because all they really want to hear i'm pretty i'm pretty sure you my viewers know right that what he is saying is literally bitching And trying to say that women bring not a damn thing to the table. So right there, right off the bat, you already know it's a stupid idea and product of the time. 2024, that's my point. Now let's go ahead and jump in the video. And then I'm going to explain to you how simple it really is. And why they are so damn wrong. Hell bent. Literally. Hell bent, right? On dying on the hill. Only here's the point. You can do whatever you want to do, right? You can die on a hill. doesn't matter to me. However, if you want to be successful with women, with women, right? Which is the whole damn point. They can care less if you die on a hill that makes no damn sense to them. That's the point. That's the hidden math that I'm talking about. Now, go ahead and put the video and then I'm going to explain. I'll stop my damn rambling here. If I have a partner, and this is one of the values that I think a woman can bring to my life. So if she can alleviate certain things in my life that make my life easier, and in so doing, I guess, let's say her earning potential is $70,000 a year. My earning potential is $5 million a year. If she can alleviate my time so that I can boost my income by 10%, wouldn't it make the most sense that she just stays at home and supports me in all the ways that she can support me and I can bring in an extra hundred or $200,000 a year versus her working a full-time job to make 70K when she could help me make 100, 200 extra, uh, 100, 200K extra a year by staying home and helping me and helping me in my mission. I wonder if this... <laughs> All right, so so for the sake of time and attention span, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what this idiot just said. 
All right. What he's saying in his dumbass explanation is logical when you're thinking it from a point of view of a bitch and not a woman. I'm talking about a guy that actually thinks he knows what the hell he's doing, but he doesn't know. He lost control. Here's what he's saying. Can you please get out of the way so I can do my job and bring money to the house? I don't want to come home and deal with your problems. You understand what he just said? That's what he said, literally. And in other words, I'll give you another translation, which is even worse, because this is what women hear when this dumbass shit comes out of your mouth. All right. Here's what they hear. Can you please, right? Can you please just sit at home, right? And wait to spread your cheeks when I come home with the dough because I can't handle you. All right. So instead of you giving me grief and problems and more stuff that I can't handle, keyword, I can't handle. I cannot take it anymore. I can't figure you out. I don't know what you want. <laughs> this is what's coming out of his mouth. Understand this is all women here. Now, yes, while it doesn't make sense logically, right? Because we are guys. You are inclined to be in the side of him. But this is a dumbass pack idea because only a true man understands that you cannot say what he just said because what I just explained. You understand? The only reason he's saying that is because, yes, the reality of it is that he can't handle his woman and will rather have her sit around, right, in her house and get the hell out of the way so that he can have an easy-ass life, right, and doesn't have to deal with the work that comes with the relationship of having a woman. You understand? Pretty simple, simple things. However, he's making the case, which every other guy is making the case, because this is the products of the time, 2024, right? Guys can't handle a damn thing no more and has forgotten the art of seduction, right? <laughs> or in this case, the art of handling your woman. You ever heard, well, I need a man, right? That can handle me. Well, there it is. <laughs> it cannot be any more clear. This is why I say it's hidden math. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into what Andrew Wilson here, right, has to say. Because he's not going to translate what he's saying in a more bitchier form. Check it out. This is even the right way to look at it. But before I weigh in, I'll let the, the gals answer. Help mate? Oh, have them... Answer what? My thing? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just, it, it, my, my only thing is, is um, I think, and, and this is due to practical experience, of course, I don't have enough data to make this claim as being something which is solid. But this is just from kind of um, a mixture of anecdote. Now, he had to give a disclaimer, but I doubt he has experience, judging by his answer. However... What he's saying is, well, I got limited experience, so here's what I think. So let's go ahead and hear what he thinks. And then what I perceive. Men will go through absolute hell, hell on earth, in order to take care of their women and their family. If they just have this kind of minimum threshold which is given to them. And the thing is, is that there's so much willfulness. It's almost like what happens is if you give somebody too much, they just begin to expect more and more and more. And I think that this is what ha has happened in modernity with women, is that even the kind of these basic things, like the idea that Bri Brian says, well, I'd like a woman to bow after I get out of the fucking mines and I go off with coal all over my face and I just brought home $200,000 this year. This bitch can't make some noodles for me? What? That's the thing, right? It's like... It's a legitimate criticism in many ways because what what's really being said here is like, look at everything I'm bringing to the table, and I I every day, day in day out, and I don't complain, I don't bitch, I don't whine, and I ask for such a small amount, and even then we have to quibble about it. 
And that's really what that's about, right? The vow has nothing to do with anything other than just show me that I actually matter and that all of modernity, which kisses women's asses, even though it's built on the backs of men, that you actually respect the fact that that's done. And that's all that's really being asked. Boo who? <laughs> Did he not just basically give you another form of translation of the bitch ass message originally that this other guy with his dumb ass question asked? Only worse, it's a big ass rant, right? He's like, can't you just appreciate me? Think about how stupid you sound. And I'm talking about you, my viewers, but I want you to put yourself in these two guys' uh, point of view here and shoes. You go to any woman and sit there. I just want you to appreciate what kind of a damn, what kind of a man says that, first of all. Second of all, I've heard that if I had a dime every time I've ever heard I just want you to appreciate, but it came out of a mouth of a woman, not a man. Understand the difference. And here's this guy literally making my case, only he's validating it. That's the problem, right? Because he's sitting here going, well, see, that's a valid point. Because women get praised and all this other shit by society and this and that what about my praise that's what he's saying right why do men don't get a pat in the back oh trust me son you've never tasted the spoils so no you don't know what the true right reward for a real man is but anyways that's a whole other thing right you really have to earn it that's the problem but anyways let's continue and finish up this video and so I, I almost wonder if even this is the wrong way to look at it, right? The, uh, the way that Brian looks at it. I think that women should be f grateful. They should be grateful. They live in the best society ever. And it's all built on the backs of not them. The air conditioning, which enables them to even exist. Everything. I could tell you what you can do on the backs of them. However, that would be a whole nother day. <laughs> Uh, episode and I would be canceled immediately right but anyways that's not here or there I'm just showing you the difference you see what this guy's saying so what the hell are you saying Andrew Wilson you want you want shit built on the backs of women and I dare say it kind of is that is what makes the world go around is where I lose with a couple of uh, subscribers and a couple of guys on the our side right because they refuse to believe or actually they can't even see what i'm actually saying maybe that's what it is but there you go i know it sounds like i'm against you guys i'm not i'm actually on your team i'm only trying to show you the hidden math every single time that these guys go out there they're trying to convince women right to change their evil ways so that they can sit back and take the spoils. Only I'm telling you the hidden math. It's the wrong way to go about it. You can never, ever get the spoils doing these bitch ass points of views like these two guys whining, bitching and complaining. It don't work. Period. You understand? All right, but let's finish it up which allows them to exist in modernity is built by men and they're the most ungrateful snot-nosed brats about it that you've ever seen and there's really no cause for it because they bring nothing to the table none of them including the old bags here who bring nothing to the table by their own admission except their and that to me is why uh, and when asked this is all you get I bring love and affection you don't bring to the table Spoken by a true, right, counterman. This is exactly what I'm telling you about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. He thinks he sounds cool. He thinks he's this shit. And he thinks he's over it. Only he said the magic word. He said the same thing twice. Understand. Here we go. Translation. You don't bring nothing and blah, blah. All this shit that he said in his argument. Only to turn around and said, except for your pee. Now, what is the pee? 
the puss, which is literally everything. And he has to throw the disclaimer that I'm pretty sure I'll get from some, right, on our side, right, that listening to this, or at least the ones that are against it. Well, I'm above it. You are not. You understand? Just like him and the other guys sitting there with a dumb uh, shit-eating grin, right? They're here for the very same reason I'm here, for the very same reason that you, my listeners, are here. For the puss. We are all here because it's been set on the table. And it's ready for the taking. However, here's the damn point. I'm trying to show you how to get it. He's trying to show you how to dry it up. Just like that. (laughs) And this is exactly how you do it. You ain't going to get it by bitching and mo- you're showing your true colors. What I'm- At the very least, if you don't care about the puss, okay, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're here for some other reason, unbeknownst to us. However, can you at the very least understand what's wrong with this picture? Because what this guy's really saying is that he is a complete bitch and does not get respected at all by women and because he ain't getting what he wants this is the rant right this is the excuse trying to point the finger and saying that these women are ungrateful when first of all that word doesn't exist now hold up before y'all get them uh crucifixions uh wood and get the nails ready to take me out for what i just said but understand what I'm saying, there is no such thing as ungrateful. Let me explain. All right. The word exists, but the meaning does not. Now, before I get to that level, because trust me, that's next level. However, it's hidden math. Understand what grateful means. This is part of the problem, right? It's the hidden math and the hidden knowledge that most guys don't know, right? Now, I'm going to say it here, and you'll hear it here first, right? Check it out. Grateful, the meaning of grateful is receiving. So, understand, when you say ungrateful bees, in this case, ungrateful women, right? How could they be ungrateful if they already received what you gave them? That would make them Indian givers, <laughs> right? Meaning they'll give your shit back. Understand what I mean. Now, once you understand that, then you get it. You see what I mean? But I'm showing you the ropes, hidden math. You give a woman anything, she'll just take it. That's what they do. Understand that, right? That's the point. So when you sit there going, you're ungrateful. You understand once you actually understand what the damn word is right and what it it really means then you can see that ungrateful right does not exist man that's a whole nother damn thing whole nother topic so let's finish it up and that's why you can't even answer the damn question no matter how many times we ask it and it makes me sick because that is modernity <laughs> Um, that's Brian there <laughs> jumping on Andrew Wilson's nads, right? With a smirk in his face, like, oh, we just did it. We just took down this r- room full of women. We made them look ridiculous. No, son, you just dried the room up. That's what happened. And these two jackasses can't see it. But I hope you, my viewers, see it. And that's the whole point. That's the point of this video today, right? These guys, these guys, so don't think like these guys. Come on. If you want to be successful, I mean, if you want to be, if you want to look cool, right, in front of your peers and a bunch of other sheep, go ahead. But you ain't going to get any. Or you can go where I'm saying, my way, and yes, you'll be hated, guaranteed. You will be hated, but not because of who you are, but 
what you are. And what is what you are but a man. It's getting some and nobody likes that. Trust me. I know. Guaranteed. But anyway, that's a whole new thing. Let's continue. Well, um, first of all, I don't know if that is being addressed to Asia and I or being addressed to women in general, but you did point us out. However, you have no clue. Like, Good. What do you bring to the table besides your... Give- you can't say that. <laughs> you see how it's a trick question? They know what they bring to the table, but they would look stupid if they just straight up said it. Because that's the name of the game. That's the point. You understand? This proves my point. They don't know game theory. They don't know the game. They don't know the players. They don't know the moves. And I'm not talking about they, the women. I'm talking about these two dumbasses. Andrew and Brian. They don't know. Clearly, they don't know. So what the hell makes you think they even know how to play? They didn't even know the game. Right? So he has to say... Well, what do you bring except for? Because he himself knows. Deep down, he knows the only reason anybody's playing in the first place. Right? So you have to make a dumbass trick question by eliminating the one thing that we all know, the elephant in the room, right? Well, what's the one thing uh, stopping us from coming out of this room? All while seeing the damn elephant standing in the damn door and stopping us literally from leaving the room. It's a stupid argument, but it tricks him every single time because he knows that they have nothing else. right? (laughs) And I know how it sounds, but it don't matter. That's how good the P is. And that's the point, right? But anyway, let's continue. Give me a real example. If you want a man to take care of you for the rest of your life, what do you bring to the table except your bunch of baggage? (laughs) (laughs) See? There you go. I, I'm not making it up. There it is. So I hope you are actually listening instead of, you know, going, well, right? Because you don't like me or you don't like the messenger or the way I talk, whatever it is, just listen to what this guy's saying. Do you really, truly agree with this guy? Right? You think it ain't worth it. You really, truly believe that. Or are you just acting? Right? Like everybody else. When that is the true reason. Any of these guys play the game or have to because it's forced. But you're playing it nonetheless. It's the reason you come to the table in the first place. It's the only reason. And that's why we get this, right? Because it's taboo, right? Me saying that alone, right? That's my my videos get struck down, right? shadow band and all this because i'm saying it how it is right the straight up raw truth and that's the problem i'm bringing a lot i like i said earlier if you're listening well, so let's start with I the baggage you bring and then we'll move on to the awesome Negative stuff you bring. Call, let's start with the baggage donated 100 dollars wilson well said all right thank you negative 100 he wants to start with the baggage with first the baggage. okay my baggage personally yeah well, I have three kids. Uh-huh. I was in a marriage for 20 years. Mm-hmm. And basically, that's it. I'm, I'm that's single it? now. That's, that's, the, do you realize how monumental what you just said was? That you have three children and most of your life was taken by another man for 20 years? You well, can't give another man children? What are you bringing to the table, really? I, <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> now, we could continue. But what did this idiot just say? He made my point again. You see how contradicting Andrew Wilson is, right? And Brian, right, who is on his nads, right, and basically ass-kissing him throughout the whole damn video. But listen to what he just said. His whole damn argument is literally that women are worth, right, or, or asking women... What do they bring and why are they worth more other than the one thing he just basically bashed down? What he told her is that she has nothing to give because it's all been used up. That's what he said. The best part of your life was already taken by someone else. And they laid the seed 
Not once, not twice, but three times. You see what he just said? He basically said what I've been saying all along, right? (laughs) Someone else came to the table to get the puss. Took it. In a marriage, how long did she say? 20 years, right? According to her, three kids later, and now she has nothing to offer. Only he just said, well, what do you bring to the table other than the puss? When now he just made a damn argument that she's got no puss to negotiate no more. You understand? So he's a hypocrite and he's full of crap. And he can't see it within his own argument, right? That he himself, just like everybody else, fall victim to the truth. However, I hate the hypocrisy of it, right? Because he's trying to show, tell, right? tell guys his message right only we all forget who the hell spent those 20 years and planted the seed three times right they never ever do the math on that guy you understand (laughs) it's always well you got nothing left and blah 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 and this and that right but anyways there you go so i hope you understand today's video so there you go i hope you understand what I'm saying. I hope the translation is correct, right? And I can get the message tr- through, right? Now, look, again, I'm not against guys, right? I'm not. Matter of fact, I'm not even competing. That's part of the damn hidden math, right? But I want you to see the errors that we make. As guys, there's certain things you cannot say, certain things, right, you cannot ask for because there's different ways to do it, right? There's hidden math. This is the wrong way to go about it. This Andrew and Brian are becoming worse than fresh and fit. Understand that, right? Understand that, right? Now, unless you want to become like them, right? Bitch and moan, cry, and try to do the impossible because trust me, it's impossible because that's not the way it was meant to be, right? You cannot tell women to start congratulating you and saying thank you for your existence, man. That's not how it works. First of all, you must become a man before you ever try to get the spoils understand that right before you ever try to become king or act like you're the king or you're the shit or the man that's not how it works sadly yes in 2024 money has been uh prone right to be used as if you're somehow a king because you're rich that's also not how it works that's an illusion but anyways there you go right i hope you like this episode right i'm gonna get a little bit more specific on other stuff here and there right but here we go once again right let's wrap it up every man is a creature of the age in which he lives and few are able to raise themselves above the ideas of the times Right now, there's one thing that's never changed throughout history. So I'm going to say it here to finish this uh, episode up. Right. It's a little saying uh, throughout the times, which goes like this. Right. Back in the cave days, three things that men did not let other men borrow. Your cave. Right. Your uh, wooden stick or spear, in this case, and your woman, right? Fast forward to the wild, wild west, and what do we got? You don't let another man borrow your horse, your gun, and your woman. Fast forward to um, more, uh, more our time, right? The future, if you will. You don't let other men borrow your car, your money, 
and your woman. Now, what did not change? Homework for you, right? And there you go. That's the one thing that has never changed throughout all of human history. So there you go. If you like this uh, podcast slash video um, slash tutorial, right? Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment down below, of course. I don't know why. Well, I do know. But I am effectively being shadow banned for some reason because my stuff is controversial. But trust me, if my stuff made no sense and had no truth, trust me, nobody would give a rat's ass enough to try right to hide it or silence it or in any way shape or form censor it so there you go i'll see you on the next uh space luchador podcast